everybody and welcome back to my channel God's Grace. Uh, I finished my bedroom, my fall decor and I just want to show you guys what I've done. Now you'll notice a little bit of changes because those of you who have been following me for a while, you know I'm a neutral kind of girl so I kind of like, you know, subtle neutral colors but this fall I decided to add just a touch of color. So come on into my room. Then upon entering into my room, you'll notice the color that I've added. Now, uh, for those of you who have uh, followed me for some time, and for those of you who have not, if you look at my fall tour from last year, I use these exact same colors in my uh, formal living and dining area. And so what I wanted to do this year, I wanted to kind of, you know, uh, use some of the different things and not try to do too much spending. And so therefore I just shop my home for a lot of things and I just decorate it from there. But I love this color, this uh, harvest gold is what we'll call it, our mustard yellow. I loved it so much that I, I just had to use it again. And so my daughter is filming everything. We're doing things a little bit differently. And so I'm gonna start here. Uh, right here as you enter in now i always have loved uh velvet pillow uh pumpkins i'm sorry and so i i like the touch of elegance that the velvet pumpkins give pumpkins give and so here you'll notice that i have the uh harvest gold and the gray i think those two colors they blend so well together and then i also added white in the room to kind of break up uh, some of the colors so it wouldn't be so bold. So I did add touches of white and off-white. And y'all know I love candles for ambience. So here we have the Luminaire candle here. And right here, I picked these. I love these because they have such a little vintage feel. These uh, branches here. I love those. I picked those up from Hobby Lobby. Just a delicate touch. And this is a, a nice quartz platter here. Uh, I'll leave, uh, if you all want to know where I purchase different things, if you would just, uh, leave something in the comments and I'll be more than like, I'll be more than happy to let you know where I got them from just so the video won't be too lengthy. Now over here on my, um, chest of drawers, I wanted to leave everything just like I have it on an everyday, uh, living because we do live here. So I have my, uh, jewelry here, my perfume, it's all in the disarray. I didn't straighten that up. But I, this little cute horse here, I purchased him from um, Home Goods a few years back, and I had him in storage, and so I pulled him out. Like I said, I did shop my home this year, and so I thought he was so this this like a uh, it's not like a bold gold, but it's it's almost like a uh, I want to say it has like an antique feel as well. And these, y'all, y'all know I love me some Harry Slacking Candles. Now, you can purchase these on QVC. Now, this one is Spice Vanilla Pumpkin. They don't have any more of these for this, this season, but this smells amazing. And I also liked how it blended in with the colors as well. And so, if you come on around here to this side of the chest of drawer, this gorgeous, I thought this was so pretty, you guys. I purchased this pom-pom throw from Target. It was only 10 bucks. You can't beat that. I did purchase a couple of items, but not too much. There we have a, a vintage, uh, it has a vintage feel, this uh, finish on this lantern, and I've had those for quite some time, also with the luminary candle. And then I also have the greenery here. And then the reason why I did, and I did pull this into the room, I pulled this into the room because I needed, it It was looking too cold in this corner. And so I wanted to add some warmth. So anytime you need to add warmth, just add greenery. So uh, this is the greenery here. And then here on top of my husband's side of the bed on his nightstand, this is, I, I was meaning to get some Werther's candies and I forgot to get them for the, for the gold color. But isn't this so pretty, you guys? This is a, a candy dish, or you can use for potpourri or whatever you feel like, but it's an angel wing, and I thought this was so pretty. I purchased this from Marshalls a while back. The lamps you guys know from previous uh, previous uh, tours, those came from Ross, dirt cheap. And this is a really nice candle, chestnut and clove, that I got from Bath & Body Works. 
but I can't have too many scents going on in here because hair is slack and he's he, okay. He's taken over. So I didn't want to light this, but this, um, candle holder. Let's focus on this candle holder. This also has like an antique uh, gold color. It's champagne gold. That's the name I'm looking for, a champagne gold color. And this came from Bath and Body Works. My daughter, I had her immediately when I saw somebody uh, uh, show that in a haul, I immediately asked my daughter because she does work at Bath and Body Works to pick me up one because I just love it. The leaves on there. And then you have these nice... Uh, candle holders the hurricane candle holders and these are some gorgeous leaves on here and that's also like an antique gold finish on that and i purchased those a long time ago i think i got those from marshall's a while back and when i actually purchased those i didn't use them and that's why that's why i'm learning over the years is to know what i'm going to use different things for because when i actually purchased those during that season i didn't even use those so i'm just now using those and i'm loving how that turned out this area over here and so uh yeah and so we're going to focus on the bed here this nice uh bed spread is one that i've had for a while and if you notice uh if you've uh, viewed any of my tours of the bedroom, I think I had this um, on the bed in a, a previous tour. But at any rate, you have the Harvest Gold uh, pillows that blended in so nicely with these gray velvet pillows, you guys. I purchased these at TJ Maxx some time ago. The pillows in the back, very familiar. If you're familiar with home decor, those came from Z Gallery. And this uh, pumpkin here, Marshalls are either home goods. I've had this for a while. I love the antique finish on this, kind of like a rustic feel. And it's glam all at the same time. Now, if you also come, if uh, my daughter would come over here, we're going to focus on these nice um, coasters. These came from Anthropology, And it, uh, if you guys noticed the tray, when we entered into the room here, they match this tray. And so that's quartz. And I think that's quite lovely. And sometimes uh, Anthropology they'll run sales. And that's the best time to purchase these type of items. Because they, because they can get quite costly. But you you know sometimes you want to spend a little bit for your items. And mix it in with the. You want to mix the expensive in with the inexpensive. And then it all pulls together some type of way. And just gives an awesome feel. A comfy nice cozy feel in your room. Um, so anyway, I have these matchsticks here, and of course, this is a flameless candle because I do want to have my home still standing after I finish this tour. But I put this match, the matches here, because I like the gold in there. You can just use certain items uh, that some may not even feel like you can decorate with, but it'll come off real nicely because what we're doing, we're picking up that gold in there, and I think it turned out nice. Now with this tray. I think I picked this tray up from Ross or Home Goods, one of the two. And so with this tray here, what I did was I had a gold tray, but it was coming off as too much gold. It was too overpowering. So what I did was I went ahead and picked up this uh, tray that I had. I, I actually used that for my husband's cologne. And so I, I uh, quickly removed his cologne and used this for the bed. And I think it turned out nice, that antique white. And it also has a rustic feel to it. That pom-pom throw, been having that for years. And I just move that around so much. And that's how you have to do. Just move your items around. When you get bored, at, uh, when things start looking boring, looking in one spot, then just move it around. And then that'll teach you how to love your items again. And get your monies out. Money's worth. And so over here on my side of the bed, I love these candles, you guys. And I'm going to tell you why I love these candles so much is because I love this uh, gold label on the front. I think that's so classy. Now, this is a DW Home Candle. I did purchase that from Home Goods uh, a few years back. Y'all are familiar, for those of you all who have been following me for a while, I love these marble coasters, and they are in the shape of a heart. And I try to, uh, it's, you know, when you're decorating, sometimes you just have to pay attention to how you arrange things because I thought that turned out nicely, how those just kind of flow on this tray. But let's look at this tray. This tray right here, you guys, I purchased this tray 
uh, online and I'll link it below because I cannot even think of the website where I purchased this from. But if you look at this uh, gold leafing on here and then you have the gold at the bottom, I think this tray is from Wayfair. That's where I got it from. Isn't that just simply beautiful? And then it's picking up these hints of gold in the book along with that gold label on the candle. I think that turned out nicely. And just as on the other side, we have another one of those be beautiful hurricanes with the gold leafing. And you'll notice that I also have the antique gold around the uh, oil painting of me and my husband and along with this mirror. So everything kind of ties in and blends in so nicely. I think gold is so beautiful in the fall because it has a warmth to it. And the, the antique gold, I really, really love it because it just has such a warm, uh, elegant feel to it. It's not too harsh. And then I also went in my front room and pulled this greenery so I could put some warmth to this corner over here. And so if we just pan around a little bit, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I didn't know where to put this little number right here. So I thought she looked cute right there. So I just put my little flower right there. The bottom, if you notice, the stand that it's on is wood. So it's giving a, a rustic feel and also some warmth to the room. You, also, you always want to add uh, different types of textures, different type of uh, items to warm your space up a little bit. Now, if we come a little bit close over here and focus on these gorgeous... I'm going to tell you guys a funny story. Now, I, when I purchased these, I thought these were actually taper can, uh, candle holders. And I kept putting the, the candle in there and it kept slipping down and I couldn't figure out what was going on. Well, actually, these are from the Chip and Joanna Gaines collection, Magnolia Home collection. And I did purchase these online. These are actually bud bases. I got these suckers ugh, dirt cheap, almost free. They were marked down. And so what happened was I ordered these three. And when they came, they were so pretty, I ordered three more. And so, yeah, a lot of you all are familiar with these big canisters, these oversized canisters. And I just pulled these from my office area because I was tired of looking at them in there. And I, I needed something else to add in here. And so I just tried. And that's how you have to do. Just try different things. Switch different things around. Hey, if it doesn't look right, move it and try something else. But anyway, those came from Z Gallery. Those are huge canisters, very heavy. And I thought they paired along nicely with this uh, antique gold finish because this is kind of a, a brighter gold, but somehow it just blends in so well. And then these branches here, you guys, I just love these little stems. Now, you can purchase these from Hobby Lobby, and I believe they're fall decor is 50% off now, and I just love those. I love them. I like that antique feel, as I said earlier. And so here I have my little set tee here, uh, my tough set tee. And I wanted to do my pillows differently because normally I'll have them kind of lined up straight across. So I did uh, I did slant them at an angle so when you enter into the room, you can pick, pick up on my uh, beautiful pillows here. But I have the two furry pillows in the back. Got those from TJ Maxx. I did a haul a long, long, long time ago on that. The furry one with the pearl that came from Pier 1 as well as this one. I got this last year from Pier 1. And I love how it has just a hint of that uh, harvest gold in it. And then I have this uh, lovely vase in the back. That's the Inspire Me Home collection. I've had her for a little bit with some branches that I already had from last year. Now these, I don't know how many of you are familiar with home interior. Home interior is so old and was out so many years ago. And I pulled, these These are not home interior though, but they, they remind me of the ones that are from home interior. And I had some and I think I got rid, rid of those and I wished I hadn't had. But these right here, I love these, I love those. So I pulled those out from my closet and I'm using those again and loving those again, along with these gorgeous, gorgeous velvet pumpkins. I just cannot get enough of these. And you guys, as I said, you kind of want to mix in sometimes things that are maybe a little bit of costly with those things that are, are, are less expensive. Because believe it or not, this little gorgeous pillow here, this bad boy came from um, my local grocery store, dirt cheap. And I just mixed, in with, mixed it in with these pillows that I ordered from um, a little shop on Essie. And I got that all that from last year. And just to give it some height and raise it up a little bit, I just added some decorative books there. 
again something uh you want to pair things with the least expensive this gorgeous um uh, uh, lantern not lantern but uh i can't even candle i'll just say candle holder this candle holder came from walmart believe it or not it's the better homes and garden brand and then we're gonna turn here and we're gonna go to my um dresser and on my dresser here i have uh just some portraits of my family y'all know autumn Pooh. that's a family portrait there and the frames are also uh in that antique gold now these frames here came from um z gallery got those on sale and this one came from tj maxx but it all kinds of blend blend in together the style is, is the same and then i paired that along with something that's uh a little bit glam and well a lot of bit glam and this came from z gallery along with this in the back and i got those on sale as well now this right here let me tell you something you just have to go however, whatever makes you happy, just go with the flow. Now, this uh, apparently, and we can all see that these are seashells, so this can go for what, like a summer candle. But I loved how these uh, colors blended in with everything else, and I just couldn't get, I just couldn't get away from it. So I left it there because I liked it. And then I just took a few of those little branches and laid it here so everything would be cohesive and blend in together. And so as you all can see, I finally got those ugly cords hidden behind that TV. My son-in-law, he did that for his mother-in-law because, oh, it was just bothering me on my last room tours when those cords were hanging. So got that taken care of. And right here by the door, I just needed something to fill it because it was a space here. So I just added this basket along with these gorgeous pillows that I got on sale a while back from Marshalls. I love this detail, this zipper detail. And it's picking up that gold again, you guys. And then I also just laid these beads here. I love beads. I love them, especially with the crosses added to them. I thought that was so pretty just for a little extra touch. And so, yeah, that's it. That's everything. That's Autumn Pool. Y'all are familiar with Autumn Pool. And so I would like to just thank you guys. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoy everything. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And you all be blessed. As I always say, stay blessed in the Lord. Bye-bye.